Hi, Dr. J. M. R. Chemistry classes. Today I am going to start new lesson that is water. So here in 1781, Henry Cavendish, according to Henry Cavendish, an English physicist, showed that water can be prepared by igniting two volumes of hydrogen and a one volume of oxygen they are combined to form water the chemical formula of water is h2o so here water exists generally in two states one is in free state and another one is in combined state so here in free state in free state it exists in the form of solid liquid and gaseous state in combined state it exists in the form of water of crystallization in prot protons in a uh, uh, proteins etc so here in free state it exists in the form of solid liquid and a gaseous state in a solid for suppose if we will take solid solid is the large amount of fresh water is in the form of ice or snow in liquid state generally it is available in the form of water that is in the form of ground water or surface or uh, mean surface of earth it is available in the form of river etc gaseous state it is in the form of water vapor so like this in free state it is available in the form of three states one is gaseous state liquid state and solid state so in combined state it is combining with proteins carbohydrates and for example water of crystallization na2co3 dot nh2 or suppose you take CuSO4 dot 5H2. This is called washing soda. Generally, what is water of crystallization? The number of water molecule which enter into loosely bonded chemical substance. That is called water of crystallization. What is here? This is called blue vitriol. CuSO4 dot 5H2. Means it is bonded with a fixed number of water molecules. So anyway, it will come afterwards. So like like this here, what happened? Free water, free state, and in combined state. Again here, what happened? Water is classified into two parts. What is that? Number one, natural water, and treated water. A natural water. B treated water so what is natural water and what is treated water natural water the water which occurs in free state means in the form of well water river water sea water rain water like this it is in the form of free state so natural state then we can call it as natural water treated water what do you mean by treated water the water which undergoes some man made process distillation boiling or uh, you take uh, different methodologies in purification generally we can call it as potable water distilled water mineral water i like this here what happened different type of waters is available they are known as means it undergoes some man made process they are known as treated water for example what is distilled water distilled water means the water which undergoes by boiling what happened it undergoes convert into vapor again by condensing what happened it is convert into liquid means it is purest form of water generally it is used in a preparation of uh, what injections means is the purest form of water 
it is very harmful for drinking it will not use generally here water what do you mean by potable water it is nothing but drinking water what is drinking water means what drinking water is nothing but drinking water as well as distilled water is same no distilled water is used in the preparation of solutions concentrated solutions like that next here drink potable water is nothing but drinking water what is drinking water drinking water is free from bacteria germs suspended impurities poisonous gases etc it does not contains any poisonous salts it contains some salts but that salts are essential for human beings they are known as treated water so like the treated water one of the example distilled water then what is potable water suppose you take mineral water what is mineral water it is present in the uh, bottle no not like that means mineral water means it contains some minerals which are essential for human beings it does not contains any impurities or suspended impurities poisonous gases poisonous solids it is it contains some essential which are essential that elements are very essential for human beings they are called what mineral water so like that here what happened water is classified into natural water and treated water generally here again water water boiling point is 100 degree centigrade generally water boiling point is 100 degree centigrade it is pure pure water boiling point is 100 degree centigrade if impurities are present it is boils more than this means it a uh, 102 degree centigrade or a uh, 105 degree centigrade more than this this is called boiling point bp the boiling point of water is increases the boiling point water of increases if impurities are present that is called boiling point is increases and if impurities are present generally water freezes at the 0 degree centigrade it is converted to solid but impurities are present it freezes less than what 0 degree centigrade means if impurities are present more than 100 if impurities are present means here freezes less than 0 degree centigrade this is known as what beta water is generally pure water is boiled if impurities more than 100 if freezes at a less than 0 degree centigrade generally water means physical properties of water generally tasteless gasless gas odorless transparent clear liquid next we'll go for structure structure of water generally water chemical formula is h2o h2o then you have to write like this here it contains what two hydrogens and one oxygen h2o dihydrogen mono oxide water h2o then here you know hydrogen atomic number is 1 then here electronic configuration is 1s1 it contains only one electron then oxygen atomic number is 8 here electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p 4 by 4 plus 2 plus 2 8 atomic number is equals to number of what electrons so here 8 electrons is present 2 plus 2 plus 4 if there is no charge they are equal if positive or negative charge are present that is different so here it contains here two electrons then p means you know three boxes 1 2 3 and 4 indirectly this is known as pair jodi 
जता जनता एंड ही कंटेन्स टू पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड टू अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मीन्स इट इज रेडी टू फॉर्म विथ वन हाइड्रोजन एंड वन हाइड्रोजन नाउ विल राइट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑक्सीजन कंटेन्स जनरली विल टेक वैलेंस इज शेल दिस इज फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट दिस इज सेकेंड ऑर्बिट सेकेंड ऑर्बिट विल टेक पार्ट इन द केमिकल बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन इट कंटेन्स टू पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वन Two. This is known as lone pair of electrons. So here, unpaired electrons. So here, hydrogen contains one electron, another hydrogen contains another electron. So here, bond is formed. This is known as lone pair of electrons. Lone pair. Then this is called bond pair. the shape of water molecule is v shape and here bond angle is 105 degrees in competitive type of examination he will ask how many lone pairs how many bond pairs are present it contains two lone pair of electrons two bond pair of electrons so this is about water and the respective structure in next video so i am going to explain about in detail about salts and the respect to types thank you meeku ee video nachinatayite like cheyandi share cheyandi subscribe cheyandi inka emana videos kavalante so please put it on that so i will commentary box lo pettandi definitely i will do thank you jay mar sir chemistry